There we go. There we go. That's the one I wanted right there. That's Pompano. Thirteen to the fork, man. Thirteen to the fork. Hey, Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. All right, you guys, we're going to be cleaning up some pompano. We're going to fillet them out today. I got quite a few. I'm excited about this. This will be a good tutorial for beginners. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. All right, you guys, this is going to be the beginner's method. This is going to be the easiest way to fillet a pompano just about any fish, all right? But I have a certain technique that works really well. First thing that you want to do is turn the fish over like that. Good sharp knife. Make a cut up into this area of the head. There's a lot of meat that runs up in there, but you can see I just made that, that cut straight across that way. Once you get up here, you're going to turn your knife around, all right, and you're going to run it back just a little bit. You're right on top of that, that bone. I'm only in about a quarter of an inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch, and I just get that started right down on top of the bone. Once I get it started, then I can get my thumb underneath there, lift up on the meat, and then I can run my knife right along that bone area. My, my fingers are pushing down here as I'm lifting up with my thumb. And I'm pushing that knife really slow on top of the bones as I'm lifting up on the meat, pulling it away, holding the fish firm down right here with my hand. My other three fingers, you can't see, see that, but I've got a good amount of pressure on there with those other, other three fingers. Working that down nice and slow. A little bit tricky. Pompano is my favorite, man. My all-time favorite. Oh, I got a little bit of got a little bit of bone there. Got I cut I cut too far underneath. I got some of the backbone on there. I could feel it. I need to come back and get on top of that. Cutting it way too close. So there we go. When after you make these fillets, you're gonna always come back and double check really good. All right, so once I get to this point, I take my knife and I just go ahead and and push it all the way through, so it comes out by the anal fin right there. And what guys, what I'm gonna do at this point, and and I feel like for beginners, this makes filleting fish a lot easier. I'm gonna just take the fish and flip it over. I'm gonna do everything that we just did on this side. We're gonna do it on the other side, and I'll tell you why. It's, it's just easier when you have that extra meat on the fish to um, separate the, the meat from, from the bone. When you have this extra on, on the bottom side, it's just easier. I don't know why, it just is. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna make a cut up towards the head area, back across this way. See how it's, it, it's up off of the fillet table because I left that meat on there? When you take the meat off, this portion is like really flat down and it's just hard to separate the bone from the meat. So for beginners, you guys, this is a great way to just start. Just flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. We made that cut to there, come back and we just start cutting along the edge of that bone. Get our finger underneath there and then we can lift up and separate the meat from the bone. Be careful. Keep that hand out of the way, JC. Always keeping that hand out of the way. See how I'm just, I'm just lifting and I'm running that knife on the bone. Lifting, running on the bone. Lift. Just keep it downward. Small, small cuts. Downward. Just like that. When I get to this point, back here across from the anal fin, I just push my knife all the way through. Just keep it tight on the uh, top, top of the backbone. Just keep it tight, push it all the way through. And then I can keep pressure on the fish up here. I got my arm out of the way and I'm pushing the knife. I'm keeping it down in a little bit of my GoPro battery died. All right, so I I'd pushed the knife through. I got it through. Once I did that, I, I turned it around had my pressure here and I was keeping the knife down flat on the backbone and I was just pushing it all the way through until I get back to the tail and I always stop about a half to three quarters of an inch before cutting it all the way through. And that's looking pretty good right there. 
I'm hitting the rib cage right here. That's that's basically my stopping point is right there. So once I do that, I get my fingers in between the fillet like that. I wrap my other fingers down around along the bottom and I pinch up on the skin here. Push my wife my, my wife push my knife all the way through as I'm lifting up on the skin. See how it I'm not going to be cutting through the meat. And uh, then I'm, I'm pulling back on the fish and I'm pushing forward with the knife, cutting right through those rib bones, just like that. Flip that around. Get my knife started on a downward angle real slow right here to separate the skin from the meat. Put pressure right there. Then I can get underneath the the skin here with my finger and I like to wrap my other fingers around the tail so I can pull. I pull back on the fish and I push forward with the knife just wiggling them back and forth keeping the fillet knife tight down to the skin and that will separate the skin from the meat. Next step I like to get rid of the bones. So I've got the rib bones here. Just going to follow that rib cage around like that. Get rid of the rib bones. There's always another Another little bit of bones right in here, but the next thing that I do is I just cut out that whole middle section has, you can feel them, they're just pin bones that run through there. Cut out that middle section like that. Get rid of that. That small piece that was there is completely boneless now. Now this guy up here around where we had the, the ribs I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to feel that really good because usually right about in there, I'm just going to cut that a little bit more right about in there. Usually there's some more bones. Yep. I feel them now right in there. Once I do that, then I just go back and I feel all through that fillet to make sure there's no little bitty pieces of bone that got cut off of the, the backbone. This backbone has really, really thin bones in it and if you get your knife under there a little bit too much you're going to end up with a little bit of bone in that meat yep just go through it make sure you got all those bones out of there all right so now we flip the fish back over we can do the same thing we've already got all of this filleted down to the the rib cage here now we can push our knife through at the anal at the anal fin right there keep pressure here pressure downwards with the knife push that back gently until you get right there at the tail Put your fingers underneath, flip it around. You can finish filleting that out a little bit if you want, just don't cut through the guts. Pinch your skin right here. You can get your fingers underneath in between the void, wrap them around the bottom here. Push your knife all the way through, get the meat up off the bone so you don't cut through it. And then pull back on the fish, push forward on the knife, and it'll cut right through the ribs. And then you're going to have to come back here and just do a little extra cutting to get out that off of there. Okay. You might have to cut this back a little bit too to get it started. And then take your knife, put it down on the, start separating the meat from the skin gently. And you always got this extra to hold on to. That's what I love about leaving the fish attached. These smaller fish, you can leave it attached. So I'm just pulling back with the skin, pushing forward with the knife kind of wiggling them both back and forth slip gently and there you go takes the meat right off there Come back here and I cut the ribs out Pompano had pin bones that run down the middle of the fillet I just go ahead and I cut all all of that that middle section out right there get rid of all of those totally boneless piece of meat right there and then you're going to come back here and right up in here, you're probably going to feel some more, some more bones right in this area right here. Just cut that out right there. That'll get rid of the rest of the bones. Now what you want to do is you want to feel this, feel this fillet. Okay. Cause sometimes there'll be some little bitty bones up in here, like right there, right there. You'll feel, you'll feel just a, a little bone up there on that meat. You want to feel it, just feel through it, man. Make sure that it's totally boneless. All right, there we go. That's looking good, man. That's looking really good. All right, well, I hope this video helps you in cleaning your pompano and in your future outdoor adventures. I hope you catch some more pompano too. All right, you guys, thumbs up or appreciated. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.